Tonight, the debate over a council member in Lodi is heating up again. Shakir Khan was arrested on election crimes, but he marched with his supporters into the council chambers tonight. ABC 10's Alicia Machado was there. We want justice! We want justice! Shakir Khan marching with his supporters to Lodi City Hall during Wednesday night's council meeting. Nearly two weeks ago, the Lodi City Council member was arrested on suspicion of elections crimes stemming from the 2020 election. What was done was dirty, and I'm going to stand up with my people and fight this. Initially, Khan agreed with the mayor to resign, but since then, Khan saying he was coerced. There was a forced resignation was uh, coerced on, upon me when I was in the booking lobby in the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office. I, I think that should have never been done, and we, my lawyer is already going to file a federal lawsuit against the city. Wednesday night, Khan walking into the council chambers and submitting a form to speak during public comment, addressing the resignation and allegations against him. Among them, the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office says deputies found 41 mail-in ballots at Khan's home and 71 names were registered to his home or cell phone number. That is totally false accusations against me. Uh, somebody tried to set me up. Well, we're going to fight that in the court of law. And the, the second thing is that they're talking about all those ballots. That is legal in California when you do, it's called ballot harvesting. And all those people, they're going to go in to the court with me. They're going to testify. During public comment, Khan was met with opposition. I would like to make a motion that Mr. Khan never be seated as a public servant in the city of Lodi, knowing that he was a city council member and directly, knowingly violated the law. I'm going to bring up the fact that he brought up voter fraud. Uh, yes, state of California, it is legal right now to, uh, you know, harvest ballots. Problem is, is you can't have the same signature on every ballot for the same house. Some expressing disappointment with the council and how the situation was handled. You should have done something before it got to this point and you didn't. Khan was released one day after his arrest, a Superior Court judge ordering Khan to wear a GPS ankle tracking device as one of the conditions. The city's website still lists Khan's seat as vacant.